Okay, guys, it's battle preparations. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Hi, we're back. It's time to choose units for the final chapter. We are bringing Ike and Nasir, who are forced. Soren, Oscar, Boyd, Rolf, Reese, Ilyana, Mist, Leith, Brom, Nephany, Jill, and Rayson. We will be giving them. Ike is obviously having Ragnell. Nasir is just going to be rocking with his breath and the Wrath and Resolve combo. I've given him the Goose Stone um, so that I can make sure that he stays uh, transformed when I want him to. We're going to be bringing Soren. We did end up giving Soren that last um, arm scroll to get his uh, wind up to A so he can use Tornado. But he's mostly going to be um, trolling people with Blizzard and Meteor and the long range spells. We're going to be bringing Oscar. In lieu of uh, S-ranked weapons, what I've done is I've taken the liberty of forging everyone a super silver weapon. And Oscar is going to be the user of the Kiman Tarma. This is a max might boosted accuracy. I believe I boosted its accuracy. A little bit. Silver Lance. Its name uh, is Elvish for the Earth Pillar. Boyd didn't get up to A in any of his weapons, so he's going to be rocking with the Brave Axe and some killer weapons. But we also made him a special axe. The Boomerang! From Avatar The Last Airbender. From Avatar The Last Airbender. It's a max might um, boosted accuracy hand axe. It's pretty nifty. We're going to be wearing Rolf. And like I said, the double bow sucks balls. So and we, we didn't even get him up to S. S rank. We're giving him something better than the double bow. The Circa Luva. It's Elvish for the blood bow. And it is, as you guessed, a max might silver bow. And red. And red. It's red. Reese, we're not. Reese is going to be dedicated staff user. He's going to be um, going along with the fortify the men and the physic. His job is to keep everyone at full health at all times. His partner in crime in this is going to be Lee, who's carrying sort of some extra special stabs for him and Miss to use. Ilyana is here. Ilyana's job today is to take out threats before they can hurt people. And to do that, we're giving her both of the bolting uh, books and Rex Bolt. The best S-ranked weapon in this game that we can get. Because of her obscene strength, it only weighs her down by one point, and considering she's max speed, she is going to be a monster. She has shade, which means people aren't going to be attacking her so much, but really, you can just imagine they're not attacking her because they know that if they did, they would die. Mist is going to be Mage Knight. She's going to be decked out with her Special Sword Anduril, the Sonic Sword, and Rune Sword, which is basically there in case it looks like we're going to need to throw her out in the middle and she's going to have to regain health so she doesn't die. Uh, and let's equip that Sonic Sword. We are also going to give her... Take, bastard. The s rank Staff. Mist is now the Panic Button. Lee, as I mentioned before, she's going to be sort of Reese's partner in carrying extra stuff. Brom is awesome. He's got his space sword back again. I've given him the pure water to boost his resistance if I need to. He's got the night ward since his job is not to take any damage. And we are going to be giving him his super weapon. He gets the Luin Tarma. Just like the Kiman Tarma, this is a max might boosted accuracy silver lance. And it's blue, which matches his affinity. Water. Nephany, you see where this is going. Nephany's got the Laguz Lance, the Killer Lance, and the Indra Bolt, her specially forged javelin, which I will use someday, I promise. And she is going to be the wielder of the Vilya Tarma. The, the air, air pillar. Yes, the air pillar. It makes sense, because her affinity is wind. Take that. All these names are elvish, by the way. <laughs> Middle Earth elvish. Middle Earth elvish. And now, Jill. We could be giving her, like, super silver lances or axes, but she's just going to be using the Brave Lance and the Killer Lance. We also gave her her daddy's tomahawk. And we she is going to be wielding the axe that should have been for Boyd, the Arda Baruch, the Earth Axe. With the Arda Baruch, she has one of the highest attack in the game. It has a frickin' might of 21. She has a higher attack than Ike. In fact, I believe... Attack 48. She has the same attack power with the Arda Baruch that the Black Knight has. Fear her. Grayson gets some extra physics and the Thoron Tome just in case we need it. Ha ha ha. Alright guys. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, hey. Let's save first. Yeah. Huh.
Huh? Huh. Let's save over the Twisted Tower. Yeah. Let's go! My Lord Ike, you're cock blocking me again! Well, you, we haven't trained you at all, Incia. Fair point. I will go and command our forces battling Dane in the city streets. Give him hell for me! I will see you once all this is done. Very well. Leave King Arshnar to me. And me. Yeah, me me, and Soren and Nasir will take care of him. Understood. Well, technically Ike and Nasir will be because guess what, guys? The final boss in this game can only be damaged by Ike and Nasir and a super special secret character you haven't met yet. Here we go. Final chapter. It's big! We're in a garden. This has like, got to be the nicest final chapter ever. What isn't nice are the bad guys. Our main boss is Ashnard up here. What did I tell you? Ten movement. He's got Gurgrant, the troll sword. He's got 35 strength and defense, 27 speed, so he can't be doubled unless we do hacks with skills like Resolve on Nasir. Um, he's burly and he's got 60 HP. He has Renewal and Daunt. No mastery skills, thank God. And this is on hard mode and I'm mentioning it because this fight is a little different from normal and, normal and easy to hard. Um, on normal mode, as far as I understand, he just sits up here like Rayquaza going, Trollololololol, -lo -lo -lo, come up and get me, suckas, and you have to come up and get him. I still, I can see are still the only people who can hurt him. On hard mode, he will move. And I think if you wait long enough, he'll just fly out after you, whether you bait him out or not. But if you mo move into his attack range on hard mode, he will come after you. He will charge. He will charge you, and only I can Nasir can hurt him, and he will kill people a lot. That's just the boss. The enemies, you'll notice, um, are decked out with pretty nifty they're weapons. They're decked out with pretty nifty weapons, and they actually have skill. This guy's got a killer lance advantage. Um, that can kind of sting. That can kind of sting. This guy's got nothing, no skills. Um, coming around here, somewhere down. This guy's got a rune sword. This guy's got a killing edge. This guy has a silver blade and, and Astra. Who the hell are you? He can't be doubled by anyone unless you are using brave weapons. Say hello to Jill with the brave ants later on. Ah. Oh. Down here, this guy has a silver axe and vantage. You want to fight him at range? Well, because um, otherwise it'll sting. This guy has a killer bow and dead eye. How charming. You want to find that point blank range. Yeah, these guys have short spears and nothing special. This guy's got a spear and this guy has a Laguz Slayer. And the, the, there's Laguz here too. And More they, are, they are pretty strong. Um, the tiger's actually faster than the kitty. No, what? Okay, that's funny. Um, up here. Oh yes, and here are the other dragons. There's three dragons, which counting up from there's five dragons and five, six, seven, eight. We're missing two dragons. Ina said there was at least ten dragons. Oh, we're missing one. Oh well. Um, over here, silver lance, silver lance, silver blades, so night killer. These guys are pretty tough. Um, and the dragons, they hit like trains. And then here is Bryce. Oh, Bryce. Why? Why can't we get the wishblade? Dumbass. <sighs> Look, if you're stupid enough not to realize that your king is an asshole and you still are going to fight with him, like, that's, that's like, admirable principles, but you're stupid! He drops his speed wing, which is nice. Does he have skills? I can't remember. Um, he has oh. guard and daunt. Ah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Who boy. Let's look at those paladins up on the... Well, uh... we're getting there. This guy doesn't have any skills, but he has... Look at the here. This S-ranked light magic. You can actually get it... Um, if, if you silence him? If you silence... Yeah, if you silence him. Like we showed you with the sage in one of the earlier... In chapter 27. If you silence them, they will actually de-equip their weapon, and then you can steal it. But we're not bringing Vulcan. Our bishop is being staff user. Over here, these paladins... Uh, this is normal. normal. This guy's got knee hill. And a brave axe. And a brave axe. Woohoo. And then this guy... Oh, nothing. There's another... There's paladin reinforcements that come that they have skills to. Over here... I don't think these guys have anything Short axe, special. no skills. Short, Short axe, no skills. skills. Brave, brave sword, sword, no skills. skills. But, you know, they're still like brave mm -hmm. sword. It's like... And stat-wise, they're, you know, they're getting up there. They're pretty... They're nothing too tough, but nothing to sneeze at either. Yeah, so um, the main thing you want to worry about right off the bat is, of course, the Bolting Sage with Thoron. How cute. 
So, yeah, we're gonna be splitting up into three parties. Um, let's just start from the middle. And work our, and yeah. work our way forward. So, Soren, troll the troll. Troll the troll. Do some sure. counter trolling. Okay, we wanna troll him from here. And we're gonna be using Blizzard. Yeah. Get him. That is enough, isn't it? Yeah, that's plenty enough. Get him. No more bolting. Ha 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 ha. <coughs> Next up, to protect Soren from the nasty tigers, go Nasir! This is the wonderful thing about putting Wrath and Resolve on Nasir, is that he starts off untransformed. So you can just throw him out there untransformed and, and have get beat, beat up, and up. Then when he transforms. And then he'll transform faster and he'll be closer to getting into Wrath Resolve state. We are going to be putting Ike out here. Um, what shall I equip him with? How about Ragmail? Um, to distract the other tiger mm -hmm. so that we don't get a block up there. So that's the middle part. Over here... The main person we want to worry about is this guy, the killer bow with dead eye, because that could get annoying. So, let's see. And then, let's see, we got a goose there, short spear, short spear, and spear. Okay. Shale, you go out here with your tomahawk. Your daddy's tomahawk. Daddy's tomahawk. Now being used for justice! And not for stupid superiors, leaders, things yeah. like Patrine. Oh, and Mist is going to go out here to support you. Mm -hmm. Miss, show him what you can do with the rune sword. Yeah. And now... Oh, and there's a tiger. Look at that. How cute. Oscar? Yeah, Oscar. Yes, the cat can get at him. Just, you know, keep the tabs on people. Oscar, if you would! Make a start on him. We don't even need that. Oh, oh, okay. Critical soul. He seems to crit a lot with soul. Like of a... Yeah. I don't know, maybe we're just getting... Mm -hmm. Whee! First level up out of the gates. Strength, HP, speed. Has he capped anything yet? Let's see, I think... Yeah, yes, he's he caps, finally capped, capped strength. strength. 26 strength cap. That is nothing to sneeze at. Leave you getting there and support Jill. All right, I'm out there. Yeah. Right there, that'll be good. Now check out this Jill. Ha 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 She's gonna need the uh, hit boost. <laughs> let's. So let's see about the cat. I think we can take care of the cat by getting. Oscar equipped with the Cayman Tarma. Is it Cayman or Cayman? Uh, you can say Cayman or Cayman. It's a made-up language. Mm -hmm. I think I think actually his Flame Lance is going to be his best bet for it. Is it? Well, resistance ten, attack twenty-one. It's going to be thirty-one with this thing. So forty-one. Oh uh, yeah, no, yeah, thirty-one. Twenty-one. His attack is going to be 46 with this, but the cat's defense is 20. So he's actually going to be doing more damage with the Cayman Tarma. Oh, he is? Okay. Yes. All right, then. Uh... There we go. And Boyd sit next to Oscar for crit boost. Well, the, the cat might go after Boyd in that no. case. No, the other side of Oscar. Oh. Well, I kind of wanted to keep him close to the action. Well, all right. Uh, something. something well, let's um, do it this Okay. Way. Put the brave axe. And let's see. The middle and right <clears throat> are taken care of. Now for the left oh, side. Oh, and uh, well, we'll move Reese last in case we need him to heal someone. Mm -hmm. These guys can get annoying because of the ranged attacks. I wonder if Illy can take out this cat on her own with Rex Bolt. I'd have to race in her into position. Speed 27. She can double him. Let's see. With she has an attack of 45 of to his resistance, resistance of, 11, of 11. That's 34 damage. She'll destroy him. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're going to do. All right. What I want to do with these guys is make sure I put them in such a way 
that the bad guys cannot attack them from bushes. Yeah. So that would be annoying. Say hello to the Indra Bolt, bitches. And the spear. Say hello to the spear, bitches. That should be good. Make sure to keep racing out of this guy's range. Yep. It's good. Right, right there. I like I'm like sending all these people to the right and then like on the left and eh, Brahm and Nefni can do it. <laughs> Say hello to Rex Bolt! Lightning God Ilyana, go! You will die! Embrace the all in one! Get it! Oh, you want more? Have it again! Lightning does strike twice with me. Overkill much? Well, the cat's gone now, isn't it? And it turns out we don't need to heal anyone on the first turn. That will change. The healers in this chapter will save the day. Who can you... No. Wait. Physic? Who can you physic? Oh, Oscar. because he grew in Why not? All those physics we stole, they're finally coming into use. I forgot to go over the shop. That's what I forgot to do at base. Yeah. Oh, but well. you can buy sh physics on the final chapter. But we don't need to because we stole them all. <laughs> yes. Yes, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Ah! Bah. You're supposed to hit him. And from the bushes, of course. Me. Yeah. I love the Kimantarma. It matches Oscar so beautifully. Oh, Oscar wants his health back! I wonder the other tiger go after Ike so we didn't have to chew our way through two tigers on enemy phase. Player phase. No, oh, what is that? You hit Ike. That's not nice. I like how his ending stance is a little different with Aragno. Yeah? Yeah. A little more badass? Mm -hmm. A little more suck my dick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now the Jill exhibition! Oh boy. Whip. Nine! Critical nine! Ugh. I'm using Jill a bit muchly because we want to get her up to level 20. Should be about five or six kills. Yeah. Oh, he didn't go after Mist. You didn't go after Mist. Why you no go after Mist? Because Mist would have killed him. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> Finally, they hit her and no damage. Keep on lining up, guys! Line up to get killed by Jill. Keep hitting her, it's funny. She's gonna, like, break Daddy's tomahawk at this rate. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Hello, Deadeye Sniper and Vantage Warrior. Hello, Steel Ants Paladin. Steel Sword Paladin. Yeah. Brom, he dodges you, lol. Yeah, Brom is just gonna tank all of this. Feel free to Luna anytime you want. Because this is pop up ratings and you can moon at a distance. This is why we use the spear. Mm. 
one of these. <laughs> one of these is gonna. One of these days. One of these. <laughs> It'll happen. Hi. Hi. You know, one of the things I noticed is that ever since we gave Braun Provoke, his levels would just skyrocket. Yep. Because everybody would go after him and he'd keep Which on damaging them. Which worked perfectly. Yeah. yeah.